If you are running Amazon PPC ad campaign for your product and you are already getting sales and profit and if you want to scale your profit, if you want to get more profit like 2x, 3x or maybe 5x then this video is just for you because in this video I am going to share with you a unique new way of advertising which is called Amazon DSP. Just like Amazon PPC which is called pay per click, it is an advertising platform where you can actually put some money and that system takes your money and show your product advertised in front of multiple broad audience which might be a good fit for that product to purchase. Just like that, Amazon DSP means demand side platform. So it is a unique and new way of Amazon advertising and it's a totally different platform and work differently. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the detail about DSP, like how it is different from PPC and what it can do for you and if it is really for you or not. So basically, if you're an Amazon seller and your listing is old and your listing is having more than 100 reviews and you're already getting good sales and profit, then you can actually try Amazon DSP and all of the budget which you are putting in your PPC campaign right now, you can actually put the 25% of that budget to Amazon DSP just to test that and later on if it will perform best for you, so you can actually split your budget 50% to PPC and 50% to DSP. Because Amazon PPC is a static advertising platform but Amazon DSP is a dynamic platform. So that means in Amazon PPC, you cannot scale at that level which you can achieve from Amazon DSP. Because static means, for example, you have created any advertising campaign and you have just put the budget, put the keyword and tell Amazon like this campaign is a sponsored campaign, this campaign is display campaign and this campaign is branded campaign. So for example, if you are running Amazon sponsored campaign on any keyword, so when someone go on Amazon and search for that keyword, so they will be able to see your product advertised with your listing, main image on a specific place on Amazon page. Or if you are running Amazon sponsored ad, just like a video ad, so when someone search for any keyword and they scroll down, so after some of the listing, they will be able to see your video ad at a particular place which Amazon dedicate to Amazon video ad. And just like that, if you have created a product targeting campaign and you are targeting any of your competitor product on that particular campaign, so your product advertisement will start showing on any particular place on your competitor listing, right? So in all of these campaign, you are defining like on which competitor you want Amazon to display your ad, on which keyword you want Amazon to display your ad on top of search, on which place you want to display your ad. So everything will be defined initially, right? So that is called a static ad placement. So in these kind of ad placement, what you have to do is you have to define everything and you have to keep monitor everything. Like you have to decide if that thing is working for you or not. And if not, you have to keep changing to get profit. But in dynamic advertisement, it's a super intelligent system and it can actually make changes with their own system. Like when you run the ads on that platform, so this platform runs the ad and can actually study the audience behavior. Like on which kind of ad and on which kind of placement the audience behavior is good and on which kind of placement the behavior is not good. So in that way, when the algorithm learn and train itself as per the audience clicks and a placement, so when it sees that on this kind of behavior, we are getting more sales, so it will dynamically change the advertising position and placement as per that. So in that way, after working on those campaigns for some time, it will gather the data, analyze the data and keep optimizing the ad campaign for the better results. So basically, if we just summarize the thing, like what is the main difference between PPC and DSP? So basically, PPC works on keyword targeting and listing targeting. Like you can ask PPC to target some keyword on which when someone search for that particular keyword, they will see your ad or when someone click on any competitor listing, so they will be see your ad. But Amazon DSP is totally different. It don't work like that. It does not target the keyword it does not target the competitor listing but it target the audience for example some people purchase our product from the amazon dsp ad so that platform will analyze those people's behavior and then create a group of audience with similar interests and past history for example, someone purchased a shoes from me and that person also purchased some other equipment or sports. So Amazon DSP will think that this person loves sport. So it will find out some more people who are basically purchasing similar thing like this. So when it create a group of audience who basically love to purchase sports product and then show our product advertised to those group of people. So there are high chances for that product to get more sales because it has now started showing that product advertised to a group of people who are basically purchasing similar product in past. So unlike PPC where we are targeting keyword, the DSP target audience and when they target audience, so sometimes the audience don't know how to search for that particular product but they actually want. So when the Amazon DSP system will work on the audience purchase history, their behavior and their interests, so these kind of audience based advertisement can actually works better to scale your business to the next level. 
So now at this point, you know the difference between PPC and DSP, like what is the difference, what is the basic fundamental difference and why it is very good for you to utilize the 25% budget of PPC into Amazon DSP. So if you're also a stable seller having 100 plus reviews on your listing and you want to scale to the 5x, so you can actually let us know because Amazon DSP is not like a PPC, like you can go to Amazon Seller Central and start running the ads. Because the Amazon DSP campaign manager is not inside the Amazon website, but we have to access DSP outside of Amazon from a different way. So if you're interested in working on that and you want to try it out, so you can contact me or any other Amazon agency who basically provide Amazon marketing and advertising services. So me or they can actually help you to set up Amazon DSP campaigns for your product. And if you test those campaigns for at least one or two months, then you will be able to get good results because it's a new thing and it's an untapped market. And that is why it's less saturated. So if you dive into that today, so later on, you can actually get some good results because right now we have got very good results so far for all of the products on which we have run the Amazon DSP SP advertisement. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.